Time now for that record breaking moment, your USA football play of the week. Rick, break it down for me. Sean Mannion, an old school quarterback, dropping back in the pocket, looking out, trying to hit a cook route. The hook gets covered. He takes the flat. The flat gets the first down. Typical Mannion form right here. Five step drop in the pocket. That gets him a little deep. Two hitches because he's trying to buy because it was a third and long pass. But he gets the ball to Hamlet and a big time play. Curtis, talk about that inside route by the slot receiver. Well, he gets sunk in a little too much and that allowed that linebacker to sink in and cover up that hook route. He wanted to go to the hook, like you said, Coach, considering the down and distance. So he had to go to the flat because the inside guy took the defenders in there and covered up that throwing lane. For and the that's why Mannion had to buy the extra hitch right. step which to, to create some time for Hamlet to get himself open, get himself out to the flat and be in position to make the first down. Really cool experience for Sean Mann. You saw his grandmother there at the end of that highlight. He was, it was a family affair. We often say this. I mean, the more you talk to a guy like Sean Manning, the lucky we are very fortunate because he is one of the class acts mm -hmm. of the athletes in the Pac-12. Remember being at training camp and you telling me, hey, this the upside for him at the NFL level. What makes him special in your mind? Well, I think number one, he's playing in a pro style offense. So the <laughs> concepts, once he gets to the league, he goes to the church of pro style. <laughs> The first style because here's the thing, you, you see a lot of spread offenses today and these quarterbacks are putting up huge numbers. Well, Sean is putting up these numbers in a pro style offense, run first, play action pass. You saw the flat throwing it to full backs and tight ends. You don't see that in college football much. And then when you look at his body frame, I mean, he's the prototype fit for a big boy, can throw every ball, and we saw what he can do when he has weapons like Marcus Wheaton and Brandon Cook. So when I look at Sean, I'll say this guy is definitely fit for the next level. Sean Manning is not going to win many races, but he can race with Tom Brady and he can race yes. with Peyton Manning. <laughs> and he's that same frame, yep. and he can look over defenses and see exactly what's going down. And if he weren't destined for the NFL, which I – I'm telling you right now he is. He'll play for a long time. He would be hired immediately as an assistant coach. He's got that kind of acumen for the game. He knows what's going on on the other side of the line of scrimmage so that he can get his own team into the right play. He's been a terrific player. Beavers are going to miss him. Well, a, a great news for a youth organization in Corvallis. Not one. Not two, not three. Four thousand dollars. Thousand dollars will be For donated. The youth organization in Corvallis, Oregon. We're loving it, courtesy of USA Football.